Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So today I got out the old J.I. Case 730 diesel tractor. This is from 1961 and it's got a few issues. It's got a problem with the power steering pump and yes, it is a new belt. Yes, the belt is tight, but once you rev up the engine, the, uh, the belt squalls because it can't uh, maintain the pressure that it needs to to steer. It, um, so. I think the power steering pump basically it needs rebuilt and I think the gearbox for the steering needs rebuilt as well. So we can only run this tractor at a really low RPM but today the work we're going to do doesn't need much horsepower. So I've got the rake attached on here. We're going to do some raking and tedding today but first I just need to get some of these tires aired up then we'll head out to the hayfield. So we cut this hayfield yesterday and along the edges, especially back there, it is shady from all the trees. This hayfield is completely surrounded by trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about three passes with the rake. We're going to rake all the grass away from the trees and out here in the middle so it's in the sunshine. So this is a new idea, 403 ground driven rake. It's called a side delivery rake because it pushes the uh, hay to the left hand side and uh, doesn't require a lot of horsepower. We're gonna run the tractor at a low RPM. Just buzz around real quick. We're gonna do both hay fields. So the grass is pretty green from just cutting it uh, last night around four or five o'clock. So uh, we're not gonna tear anything up as we rake and tet it today. There's a muddy spot in the field. Oh, and that was a limb. All right, the first hay field back there is done. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, we got both hay fields raked in so that most of the hay is now in the sunshine. 
So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna switch out the hay rake for the tether, and then we're gonna go over the entire field, get it fluffed up, up spread back out, see if we get it to dry a little quicker. So this is a two-star tether, and these are pretty common. A lot of companies make these. They all seem to be very similar. So I would normally run this at a lower RPM anyway, just so I'm a little more gentler on the hay. It's, it's not a very gentle machine as it is, but we're gonna try to uh, hit the clover field first while it's still wet and try not to knock the leaves off. But we're just gonna go slow and uh, get this all spread out. I'm gonna go fairly slow as we go through the wind row that we just made. And then once we get it spread out, I'll speed up, we'll do the middle of the field. knocking down the windrow. Going pretty slow, trying to get it all spread out. Got a little bit of, a little bit of grass flying around. Oh my God, man, that was crazy. Um, I got a feeling I was pretty lucky that somehow I did not get struck with something when that happened. So I, I went back and I reviewed the footage because I had an idea what happened and I think the footage confirmed it. So I dropped a, a hitch pin in this when we took off today and I didn't have a clip to put in the bottom of the pin. So it's just a pin dropped in. And as this sits there and runs, I think that, that pin walked its way up and it finally, the pin, the hitch pin fell out. So then the nose of this fell down and when it hit the dirt, it just threw it, it had all that momentum, ended up breaking the PTO shaft U-joint, blew the U-joint apart. And the hitch pin is nowhere to be found. So, but first looking at this, first looking at this right here, I flipped it over, it looks like I think all the tines are still fine. I don't think it broke any of the tines. It just broke the U-joint. Until I really get to spinning it, this may be a minor repair, but I'm gonna have to find a hitch pin. I'm gonna have to tow it back to the barn and uh, see. But man, that was crazy. And to me, that just seemed like that was really close. Um, yeah, I mean, that thing just flew, up. seemed like it just, it flew in the air. Man, that's crazy. Not sure how well this will show up, but this is where the tines dug in right there. You can see like a half moon here and a half moon there. It kind of looks like angel wings. And then down here is where the tongue of it dug into the ground. There's a nice big hole where the tongue fell down. So I would think that the pin would be somewhere around here. There's the hitch pin. 
So I grabbed this off the baler. It's the only one I could find close by and it didn't have a clip. And uh, yeah, pretty sure that's what happened. I wouldn't have, I guess anything's possible, but I guess just didn't imagine that happening. So here's the U-joint. It blew that apart. This doesn't look bent. It's bad when you bend the frame and then you can just replace this cross bearing. So here's the other end of the PTO. And this right here is all misshaped and bent out of whack. So this side is all bent up. That is nothing that I'm gonna get fixed today. I probably had the bearing. I think I've got like three bearings in, in the garage in case I break one. But uh, I'm gonna have to go figure out what yoke size this is, find a new end, and then we'll end up repairing that. I'm gonna guess that's gonna be in a different video though. But after that, I think I'm gonna call today after that. I feel like, uh, I feel like that may have been a close call. So uh, most of the hay field, about half of the hay field on this side is tedded, the other one's tedded. So I think it'll be fine. The middle of it dries a lot better anyway. So. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. That was just crazy. I guess there's the, there you go. Another safety tip right there. Learn from my stupid mistakes. Always put a clip in the bottom of your hitch pin to keep it from working out. That's gonna be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <clears throat> Whoo! Heck, looking down the shaft, this even looks maybe bent. I'll take that all apart. This whole thing may be shot. Not a single one of these tines is broken. I find that amazing because when I bought it, it had been crashed and three of them were broken. And this one didn't, this didn't even break one. I need a pin. I don't know why I can't find any hitch pins. Should have hitch pins everywhere. Maybe one on the Baylor. There we go. No clip, but 